Well, hello ye old YouTube. Welcome back to the long-awaited return of Let's Play The Sims Medieval. Oh man, it feels so great to be back in this game. And with my recording abilities, I can now side-scroll. Yes. Uh, last time we left off, we had just gotten uh, a few quests out of the way. We are still in the tutorial. Our next quest is to give resources to Master Brady. So, without further ado, let's uh, speed through this. And, uh, let's continue on. Um, feels so nice to be playing this game again. I haven't played this game in forever. Uh, Lord Rowan, I have missed you. So a lot of things have changed. Not in this game, per se, but in my skills. Uh, my ability to record is a whole lot different. I woke up on... I'm cursed. No! But I like the room. I had a yummy meal before I went to bed, and I slept well. I am a hopeless, eloquent, eloquent orphan that is cursed. Anyway, let's finish this quest. Let's give the resources to the dude. As you saw, I used the shortcut there. Um, it, it might take me just a second to get used to the buttons yet again, but that'll come in time, I promise you. And you, you need to stop, dude. So I'm going to, uh, I don't know if it's voices or sound effects. I'm going to turn them both down. Just to be safe. I don't know, I'm gonna go to... These look great, your highness. Give me some time to take inventory and I'll make sure we have enough resources for the next building you wish for. Looks like I have some time to myself. I can get to know my townspeople, explore my kingdom, or just relax. Or, being king, I can tackle my many daily responsibilities. In fact, at any time during a quest, I can take a break from the quest tasks and do whatever I want. There are no consequences as long as my focus is high, unless I spend an entire day ignoring my quest. So, this is what opens up the uh, side quests you see down here. Right there. Um, our main quest is to take time for ourselves. We have to ask two citizens about life in Let's Play them, and we also have to write a treaty of ongoing peace. So let's do that first. Let's, as you see, we have the green. With the plus, or the plus, the up arrow, which means we have a high success rate for it. Let's write the ongoing peace treaty right now. As you see down here, I didn't mean to click. Um, we have 12 hours on the peace treaty and 13 hours on the other objective. These will cycle every 24 hours, whereas this will stay the same. If we disregard this for too long, our mood will drop. What are we at right now for mood? We are at silver. We have the loot. Who who keep I, I forbid I forbid you from playing the loot no, interact. I forbid you from doing this. Mean. No. Uh monarch? Haha. -ha. Send to the stocks. I forbid any loot plague in my kingdom because you are too loud. And you play off key. So, no. You shall go to the stocks as soon as I write this peace treaty. Which, skip through into the next. Apparently, a peace treaty takes many papers to do. Responsibilities are key to my rule. Performing them will keep me focused. And staying focused means I'll get a critical resource to build my kingdom. I need an advisor to help me. To help me. To help keep my responsibilities in order. I'll write a letter of hire and send it out immediately. So as you see, it shows that we have a clear objective, but yet we still have another one. Constable is going to arrest him. Let's ask about living in this town. Why don't you... I need to have a relationship with him. You are being arrested. I will just friendly talk with you. I am going to try and keep these, get these finished before I do this, but in later missions that may be slightly tougher, 
And we might have to work what- Why do I- Oh, because I'm cursed. Like, why do I have a gray cloud above my head? I think I asked him already. Um, Maid, where'd you go? I don't... No, no. No! Buttons! I need to increase my friendliness with you, so we will chat. Oh my god, is it s I am so happy to be back in this game. I listened to music and I sent him to jail, so. We still have yet to cross into the gold mark, but hopefully that will come soon. If it wasn't for the fact that I am cursed, that I would worry about that so much. Well, we shall talk to good woman Vanessa. Keep at, we'll ask about musical preferences. preferences. Bleh, I cannot speak today, so I will just put on a, a Sean Connery accent, and we'll see how far that takes me. <laughs> so yeah, we're we are, uh, we're we're boosting up our relationship with Vanessa, in hopes to be able to ask about how her living is with in uh, our kingdom. There we go. That should finish up this quest as well. Well in due time. Um, we do need to eat. E Whoa, I saw negatives. I. Okay, we finished that already. Okay, so we need to eat to fulfill our eating needs. Let's make food. We now have a gold cup, but we're just at the very bottom of the gold cup. Well, we still have a little bit of the way. Um, I am thinking that for, uh, venison soup. For, uh, this Let's Play, I'm going to do the same thing that I do for Black and White 2, in which I record a, a long set of videos and then cut it up. So my intro and my outros are going to be kind of here and there. But don't worry, I'm going to brew some beer. And everything will be fine, because I brew the beer. <laughs> Cheers to that, mate. Sorry if you heard that, I was taking a drink. Um, make some wheat beer. Our, uh, our king is going to be a wheat beerist. What? I said brew. Uh, no, stop talking. We have to go back to the writing table to write a letter of hire. But first, I'm going to brew more beer. Or not. Apparently, I'm not going to brew beer because, you know what? Open larder. I'll just do it this way. Whatever. I don't care. I do need to equip that. We need three wheat. Er, yeah, three wheat. So one... Two and three. And we will come over here and brew. Being we only have a hundred dollars. We are the king and we only have a hundred simoleons left. What is this madness? Okay. So we will brew the beer. Finally. And we will drink the beer. Maybe. Brew the damn beer, you're on. Okay. We will get to drink of beer and after we drink we will go find us a advisor down here at the writing table write a letter for hire we're still cursed we're gonna be cursed for another 11 hours so that's gonna hurt us a little bit we got a little bit of a buzz going nothing wrong with that so all in all, we're doing pretty good. Our focus is still going up. Our focus is still up. So that means our rating is going to go up. In the meantime, what are we doing? We are... Just finished drinking the beer. And now we're going to uh, send this off at the messenger post. So let's send it in the mail. Send letter of hire. Okay, we will get ourselves an assistant that will help us. I don't, we used to have a slave somewhere. I don't know where she went. 
There's our servant. Dimples! Servant Dimples! Yes! What a perfect servant name right there. We have a servant named Dimples. Oh, which we can... I could have swore we could have... Hmm. I thought we could have told her to... Home? No. Trait? No. I don't know. I could have swore we could have... I expect my new advisor should show up soon. Once he arrives, I'll ask him for his first piece of advice for the kingdom. So we have to ask Advisor Willard for advice. Who is right here? Our French advisor. Ask for advice. Ho oh, ho! Oh, so, mademoiselle, I, I have a, a terrible French accent. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My lord, to be honest, this throne room is a bit lacking. You need to furnish it better. If you're going to impress any foreign leaders or professionals, you need some more to purchase items. So I'm adding to your phones. Usually, you will make simoleons each day from taxes or by selling resources that you collected. <laughs> so, we now have to go into furnish mode, which, if you have played a Sims before, is just decorating your hall. We are going to, we just need decor. Let's do miscellaneous decor, right? No, yes. Right, yes, no, yes, that's right. <laughs> Curtains, no. Mirrors, no. Wall decor, that's better. Okay. A Jacobite, a Paterian. Shield banner of Electorite. What is with. Oh, yeah. Red. Oh, green. Okay, we need two of those. Yep, two of those. Okay. And we are we are set. Back to. No, back to live mode. Okay, so. That's generally how you do it. You've got your little areas where you can pick what you want to de decorate things up as. I may um, pick a a job. Declare a throne room open, which I do. Is that me? No. Go here. I don't know where I'm at. But um, I might pick a specific placement and uh, let you and and I'll show you how I decorate it, and I will do it on my own. However, like I said, most of the other ones are just going to be pre-made areas. So now that I did that, I gotta go view political situation. It's not a bad idea to consider opening more relations with our neighboring nations. I should take a peek to the tactical map before I continue to expand my own kingdom. So we shall go over here and view political situation. So we can see how our friends view us. Um, whoa, I am hungry. After this, I have to eat. <clears throat> so, once again, as you see, our friends are both still loyal. We only have the two countries right there. Nothing fancy. I have to eat. I don't know why I let that go to waste. As Let's Kingdom expands, so will the number of territories I can explore. Speaking of expanding, I wonder if Buildmaster Braddy has finished taking inventory of our resources. So, let's go make us some more food, because we are getting hungry. We got new stuff! Holy crap! Holy moly, we got new stuff! We're so happy. And we're still buzzed. So, we had venison soup last. Let's have some trout. I feel like fish. Seafood soup! The only real sea seafood soup, though, is clam chowder, so... I'm sorry about that, guys. So, as we go and eat, our next goal is to talk to Braddy. Which, like I said, here's the shortcut here. I'll be using these very often. As it is just extremely easy to uh, use those. As you see, we are still cursed. We still have our black smoke cloud looking over us. And we are just like, no, bad day. But let's... Ooh, wrong way. There we go. Let's talk about him in the... Let's talk in the corner. That's that's kingly of us. We talk in the corner. What? What? We... There are enough resources here, and the builders are all ready. One more question remains, my lord. 
What will you build, Highness? Well, I don't know what we're gonna build. But as you see, we completed the quest! Yay! That's the, the end of the tutorial! A strong king has risen! But trying times were ahead of Euroan, and Euroan's rule would be challenged more than he could possibly imagine. We gained 10 resource points, we gained a knowledge point, and we also leveled up with 750 simoleons. Congratulations, Euroan has reached Monarch level 2! Review your Sim Simology tab for new profession benefits. A Monarch is the sole ruler of the land, blah 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 blah. Level 2 gives us the ability to strategize and pass edicts in the tactical map. We can hold court on the throne, which we could do already. And we can do the Restful Dance combat tone so when we fight. And our fighting has gone up. However, that we now have enough resource points to make a new area. Kind of. Yeah. So, guys... Uh, I already have my second area. I know what I'm going to do in respects of a a great friend of mine. I'm going to increase. I'm going to make a smithy. We are going to make it furnished. And as this process is, we now have this. So next time, I am going to uh, introduce you to our new blacksmith, which I will leave as a surprise for you guys. And we will go on to our second quest, which will be a royal holiday. So, if for the royal holiday, it doesn't matter. We need the monarch, so your own will still do that job. However, we will fill out this blacksmith first before we do that. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. Uh, it feels so great to be back. As always, feel free to like if you enjoyed the episode or comment. Let me know how I'm doing. If you haven't already, there's a subscribe button up there on the top. Feel free to click it if you haven't already. I will be bringing you more content from Sims Medieval as well as my other Let's Plays. So, fare thee well, ye old YouTube. I am Yeroen. And I wish thou to remember Happy Gaming.